Hello there and welcome back for the first time to American Arcadia. Now, this is a game that I was kind of like, I've seen in passing and it kind of looked interesting, but I never really looked any deeper into it. Up until I was informed that it was made by the same developers as Call to the Sea. Now, I thoroughly enjoyed Call to the Sea and I meant to keep an eye on the studio to work at find out, you know, what they're doing next and I completely forgot about that to in all fairness completely forgot to keep an eye and apparently this is their next game so it looks quite interesting it kind of all I know is you play as a guy called Trevor and he's got to escape a TV show called American Arcadia I'm assuming why I don't really know and I don't know what the TV show's about or anything like that. So we're going to go in pretty much blind. I have no idea what to expect. Hopefully we're, hopefully we're going to have some fun. Truly. So, that being said, please grab your favourite drinks and snacks, curl up to them comfortable, come hang out with me as we jump straight into American Arcadia. Enjoy, guys. Enjoy. That is unmistakably a video cassette. Wow! What is this, Mr. What are we watching? This comet is our new Architects of Tomorrow, Tomorrow, episode 394, A Brand New Dream in 1959. <laughs> Not quite. Arcadia is indeed a city, but it would be built right here in America. Golly. Right. Picture a city of dreams and hopes for the young and old alike. So it's a futuristic city in the, made in the 70s, or it, designed in the 70s. Gee, that sounds like a dream, Mr. Also, that, I'm wondering if that dome, is that dome just to protect the model, or is it an actual dome city? Because I can't imagine the ramifications of building a glass dome that freaking big. Are you ready to proceed, then? I can't even fathom that. Like, yes. how that would even be possible. Yes, I'm ready. Good. We're recording now. So Would it be panels? Would it be glass panels? Age and occupation. <laughs> or is it one, one solid Hales, bit of glass, which I don't think is even senior possible. Senior manager at INAC. Although, I'm not sure about that anymore. In deposition. I'm also the most popular person in our So we are but in trouble. We already know that, right? Lawyers are involved in depositions. And police, obviously. Oh, uh, oh! I'm in control. Uh, I get the feeling I'm gonna have to just continue running. I don't think I don't want to surrender. I'm getting the feeling that we're not gonna surrender. Yeah, you have to catch me first, you jerk! Can't climb. I just pressed E there. I wonder if that was what I just instinctively pressed pressed a button to jump or climb. Yes, we know that, Mr. Hills. Please continue. Uh, I used to have a mundane life. Just my everyday routine, and I, I liked it that way. But I think it all probably began about two weeks before that dreadful day. All right. Time jump. Oh, press F X to interact, okay. Good morning, Arcadia. Good morning. Today we're enjoying a splendid temperature of 77.1 degrees. And so Nightcrow, that actually looks like a nice car. On this beautiful, sunny Friday also, morning. Trevor, I like your... I like your slippers. Also, where's your nose? Good morning, Arcadia. I can't even... I can't see his nose. Does he have a nose? So basically, we're in a futuristic. That transition was so damn smooth. That was cool. Do you see that? Morning, Kovacs. What do you say? Up for another exquisite cabbage breakfast? Why not? Had a boy. Don't mind if I do. You gotta feed the pets. Gotta feed the pets. I'm just gonna interact with everything I can interact with. These little dot things that appear, the one right in front of us, they seem to be intractable points. Going to full cleaning. Oh, we have droids. I'm gonna have drones. 
Drones that are water in the grass. I would like to live in this place. That was pretty good at Spectre. No housework. Gladly. I'm not into video games anymore. Why not though? Also, we've got that 70s kind of vibe. Futuristic 70s vibe. Because that console is very wooden. And that TV is a big ass, probably heavy TV. You could probably kill someone with that TV. If that dropped on someone's head, you're a gunner. You know there's some uh, bloody tubes in that one. See how thick it is compared to... <laughs> That's how TVs used to be. It's not a thick. Way, but thick, thick. It fits in my comfy house. And heavy. Now they're like super thin and light and it's crazy. Alright, sorry, let's carry on. And another smooth transition. I'm getting the feeling we're heading to work. Doing our daily routine. Morning, Mr. Bernstein. Good Hello. Morning, Trevor. I'm just going to carry on to the monorail. And uh, over here on your right, you can see the Walton Family Memorial. It's a massive sculpture. You've got to be egotistical to have a giant Elijah statue Walton. of yourself. Uh, his brother Donald and Vivian Walton, Elijah's granddaughter and the current Arcadia representative. Next stop, I Gemini. Tourists as well. Do we have tourists? Like outside of the town? I guess we're going in. We have reached work. Welcome to Inax Gemini Towers. You've been working with us for nine years, ten months, and fourteen days. It doesn't even feel like a day after, like, eleven years. Uh, Inac Industrial uh, Industrial North Arcadia Computers. Or right, working for a computer company. Still trying to beat my Spectrex high score, Mitch? It's just a matter of time, Trevor. Just a matter of time. Huh. <laughs> yeah, sure. Whatever. I'm just going to interact with everything right now. Hello. Hey, Trevor. Are you up for the Blitz Festival party tonight? It's in the Limelight Club. Maybe. Sorry, no can do. I'm, I'm behind schedule. And I'm not much into clubbing either. Yeah, and it was never in the club myself, too fair. The life and soul of the party? Ha! We'll try our best, man. Ada, the automated data analyzer, is the most powerful computer ever built. That's good to know. Technology inside. It's gonna go s straight through the little lowered seating area. You know, these were massively underrated. Lower your couch, you know, lower your settee right into the, you know, into the floor. Hazard if you're drunk. Hey, Gus. You look good, buddy. Been going to the gym? Nah, nope, not at all. Gym to keep this ripped body in shape. Hills jeans. <laughs> By the way, you going to the Blitz party tonight? No. Nope. I still have some stuff to finish here. Trevor, man, would it kill you to have a little bit of fun once in a while? Sending the Ada. I do have fun. Moderately, I enjoy doing my job. Validated. You won't be enjoying it so much now that Romano is our new supervisor. I'm assuming Romano is not a fun person. Seriously? But that guy's a moron. Um, uh, validated. You know, Gus, sometimes I get the feeling that only absolute jerks, egomaniacs, and obnoxious people thrive in this company. I didn't know you were interested in the supervisor's job. Seems okay. legit, like, like a lot of companies. And I, and I'm not, but William Romano, man, you gotta be kidding me. Have you ever wanted to leave all your worries behind and have the time of your life? No. Exploring the world and making Actually, to be fair, yes. Memories. I say no, but I really now, mean yes. Thanks to the Arcadia Edge Travel Grant, you can experience what you've only dared to dream of. Because not everyone who wanders is lost. The Edge Travel Grant, only in Arcadia. Apply now through Ordinary Mail or Adenet. We're talking about, um, like, Mr. Hills, the edge, as in the edge of the city? The like, leaving the outside of the Do really dorm? To go through? I, I know what I've told you might seem irrelevant now, but it'll help you understand later. Trust me. Okay. Also, it's very mundane. But it's good to see his day-to-day -day action. Just to see how crazy it gets. 
Day Good number morning, two. Arcadia. <sighs> it's another beautiful day in the city of tomorrow. We're expecting a high Groundhog of 75 day. degrees and humidity of 66%. We have been here before. We'll skip the kitchen now. Good to see you, Mr. Bernstein. Good morning, Trevor. Oh, I hope you are up for a pleasant stroll along Memory Lake. So keep those cameras ready. Memory Lake? Because you might get some really, really nice pics of the Arcadia Spire up there. Next stop, Inak Gemini Tower West. Hmm. I wonder where this guy went. Hey, Millie. Have you seen Gus today? Is he sick or... I don't think so. He just left early today. With his chair? He didn't say anything to me. We're gonna fall behind schedule. I'm sorry, did you not realize his chair's gone and just all these Ada memos by myself? <laughs> Thank you, Gus. I mean, when you leave like for the leave when you leave early, do you take your chair with you? I should have been home three hours ago, and I still have a ton of work to do. Right stick CCTV area. Excuse me, what? Hey, hey! Switch off lights. I'm still working here. What's going on right now? Six days before that dreadful day. I don't. Know what just happened? Oh, we have a different, different screen. Uh, cameras being watched by the cameras. My fellow citizens, we have a new Edge Travel Grant winner. His name is. Hey. Isn't that Gus? Augustus Rainey, a 31 year old senior account manager. He disappeared. At Soon Gus will be enjoying Fiji's pristine beaches. I don't know if I trust that. He disappears, I takes a chair. I'm gonna, I am gonna hop on the chair. It's a little details, you know. Hmm. That's weird. Take, is he taking his chair to Fiji? <laughs> I don't ever trust that. I get the feeling something bad's happened to him, and he's been so I rumbled been, or something. You know, they promoted me to a supervisor uh, two days later. Gus the Globetrotter left us. <laughs> yes. Romano, I really doubt that Gus ever applied for the travel grade. Ah, uh, you know, Gus, not much of a talker. What a lucky son of a gun, though, huh? Huh? Convenient, yeah. I think they may have disappeared him. I think he may have been poking around where he wasn't meant to be, and they disappeared him, and then claimed that report is ready for tomorrow, will you? Claimed that he's uh, you know won a travel and he's just disappeared outside the city. Eating another cookie. Yeah, what's going on right now? <laughs> Four days before that dreadful day. So I think someone may be watching me on the cameras and keep on telling me that they're lying to us. Trevor Hills, welcome to Inax Gemini Towers. Hey, hey, did anybody hear that? It's that song again. Nobody? Really? Can I, am I the only one able to hear it, or? That's really confusing. Hello, 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 everybody. Hey, Francis. Morning, Trevor. Listen, Dave, have you noticed some weird things going on lately in the office? Really? Yes. Oh, what do you mean? I don't know, lights going off, music suddenly playing in the PA system? No, nothing. Okay, well, yeah, forget it. That's really weird. Do you think only he can hear it? There must be a rational explanation for all this. There must be. Yeah, his desk, his computer's gone. I don't think he's coming back, you know. He took his chair and everything. <laughs> Excuse me. 
the, the chair. God, this. I don't know. The chair's bugging me. Product of my imagination, can it? No. Trevor, you up for a couple no, of years no, after? No, no, no. I, sorry, I, I can't. I can't. What's gotten into him? Leave me I'm alone, damn it. Kind of freaking out. My routine's been changed. My well, co-worker's disappeared. Went to Fiji with his chair, and didn't come back. That's me on the Jesus. camera. What the? Who is doing this? Who on earth is doing this? Would somebody please look at these screens? Yeah, they're all blank. Maybe it's only stress. I've been working too much lately. Yeah, I've been working a lot. I need to go to the doctor. It's It's been ages since I had a checkup. That actually sounds like a good plan. It's been a while since I've been checked out as well. Ooh. No, I'm not in the mood to play right now. We're actually going the opposite direction. I don't even want to get close to the TV. Not after last time. No thank you. Who knows what might happen if I turn that droid on. Hey Kovacs, am I going crazy buddy? I don't think you are. I genuinely don't think you are. Kovacs, I'll see you later. <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna sleep a wink tonight. At least try. Get in bed, at least try. That dreadful day. Yeah, weird things are happening already. I'm actually really enjoying this. Those I'm intrigued to know what the heck's the going on. Weeks in my entire life. Or at least the weirdest. Although it was nothing compared to what I was going to experience later that day. Do you know they even had a name for it? You mean a name for your... Yes, that's it. The day the running started. Are we running? Are we running? Okay. I, uh, I have to get a hold of myself. It's Friday. Just a few more hours of work and the week will be over. I'll finish here, go back home, have a glass of warm milk, Remember and go to sleep. Remember that you can apply for the Edge Travel Grant too. The only requirements are that you must be of legal age and have an insatiable wanderlust. Request the application. I don't know what wanderlust means. Or no, thank you. Yeah, I don't want to leave this place. It's so regimented. Also, I don't have a me colleague's not returned either. I don't even have a new colleague. Okay, today's tasks. Nothing like some routine stuff to keep your mind occupied. I get the feeling this day is going to be less than routine. Come on! I didn't even save. Hey guys, did you lose your... No. It looks like everyone else what? is fine. Gus is... dead. Trevor Hills, please. Your supervisor requires your presence in the meeting room on the 10th floor. Uh... What? Yeah, let's go for that one. That... someone's definitely keeping an eye. That... Gus is dead. Okay. So they did ghost him. Someone's trying to send me a message. I'm picking up that what vibe. Are you picking up that vibe? Don't be a fool. This is actually really cool. Let's go to the 10th floor. I don't think it's going to end well. Trevor, ah! listen carefully. I don't have much time. As soon as you enter that meeting room, your supervisor is going to congratulate you for winning the Edge Travel Grant. I never applied. Who is this? Just listen. Three travel agents will be there with you to arrange all the paperwork. If you leave with them, you won't ever be seen again. Why am I being... What? Why? In a second. I didn't even apply for the travel grant. Neither did Gus. Follow my instructions when you exit the elevator. It's your only chance to survive. All right, you don't have to tell me twice. Wait. Is this the Matrix? <laughs> what on earth was that? We'll have to go for it. Hello, there's the agents. Hi. On the intercom. Look at them. Do those guys look like travel agents to you? Take Not really. You know, I've never seen a travel agent that's been dressed in a full suit like that Whatever with happens, 
do not a black suit with badges and everything that. Oh, hey, hey, Trevor, come here. I. I have good news for you. I'm not interested. I'm just gonna. One, the arcade. I'm just no, no, going no, this no, way. <laughs> okay, the really, the really want to give us. The really want me to come with them. Found with this measure, we. Hey, you can't be here, Mister. This yeah. Private, I'm just passing through. I'm sorry, I, I'm. I just. I have, I have to. I just. I'm passing through. Me, We're running. We're going for it. Easy coming down the set. They're coming down the stairs. We need to move right now. We need to leave. Please lift, lift. Huh. Sorry, couldn't hold it. Take the stairs. Take the stairs. Yes. Okay. Now. Okay, now I'm a little bit on edge. When you reach the twentieth floor, cross the Ada Blue lobby and enter the supercomputer room. The supercomputer room? I don't have clearance to access. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll take care of that. I don't know who you are, but thank you for helping me. We're just running for it. Are they coming up? I don't know where they are. Hello. Damn it! There's no exit here. Hey, you, strange voice or whatever you are, can you hear me? What do I do now? Wait in there. I have to do something really quick. Okay. What? Calm down. Don't panic. I'll be right back. Whoa. Oh, I'm so sorry to leave you hanging there, Trevor. But admin permissions are updated daily, so I have to do this right here and right now. Whoa. Great. All checked. Next phase of the tunnel. Such plan. a th wait. There what's going on? Is. I don't even know what's going on right now. Tomlin, my inept. My boss. days. Uh, She's probably been logged into her computer all day, lurking through her assigned citizen grid, enjoying a. Why was suddenly in first person? Well, that's about to change as soon as I shut down her computer from my cell phone, which I don't remember where I put. Ah, where, oh, where did I leave my cell phone? Uh, we're okay. We're in first person. Um, this little plant managed to survive despite my black thumb. Looking for phone. Our pad Kovac signed this postcard for me when I met him at TechCon in 1999. That's kind of cool. Um. And I build both. Are we on the? Are we, actually, are we on a time frame here? Time limit. Here Phone. You are. There you are. Now I only have to access Kendra's computer and unleash hell. I wrote down her IP here. Oh, how stupid can I be? Only I could think of writing something that important on my hand. One nine What's zero. Activist ever. Once I'm going to say one seven two. That looks like an 8-2. Do you have an 8? No, we don't. 3? We've only got one that ends with a 2, don't we? And then 23. Please say that's correct. Sorry for interrupting another hard day of procrastination, nice. Kendra. I like that. Just a couple seconds to begin the cursing and screaming in 3... Two, two, one, one, one again. There we go. And here it is. No, 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 Total no, no. system shutdown. Now, Kendra, you better follow the protocol like a responsible supervisor and call Jean. Yeah, okay. Yes. It's Kendra. Yelling? Oh, you better move your sorry ass to get up here, or you will find out what yelling is. This is really cool. Like first person, and here it comes. that shift was like away from the thing. That Gene was really Wynn, damn cool. The admin guy. Hello. Hey, Gene. Poor Gene. I really owe you one, man. I like this. Okay. You know, what? I really like You're the style really of this already. Is this is so interesting. Aggro. What took you so long? And by the looks of it, it's gonna be a while. So next phase, get inside the server room. Can't be caught on the surveillance cameras. Okay. Can I leave? Uh, wait, do I need the badge? I think I may need the badge. No matter how hard I try, I always have an awkward expression in my ID photos. I think everyone does. Genuinely think everyone does. Comet, the canine cadet. Or as we used to call him in Puerto Rico, Nothing on the bottom. Celso, el perro del espacio. Uh, right, so where are we going? So, well, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Um, access to the server room. Okay. Everything done. The hallway to the server room is tracked by three surveillance cameras. 
I need to get close to the cameras and upload the loop footage from my cell phone. But I have to be sure the right video is uploaded to the right camera. So that's one right there. And that's looking down the corridor. Loop corridor, that one. Okay, this is the top one. Ah, here it is. That's that one. For sure. Now the second one, we're looking for the picture of Walt, it looks like Walton. And this one. This is the bottom one. That's that one. Link to camp three. So the next one we'll find has to be the one that's in the middle. Server room. That's where we're heading. That's where we need to get in. Where is that it? That has to be it. Yeah, that's the one. Do an upload all cameras. Yes. Pretty sure I got it right. All the videos are uploaded and playing the loops. I can enter the server room now. Let's just have ourselves a little sneaky sneak. Hopefully we don't get rumbled. Shit. I forgot that Gene still uses the old four-digit security system. And I don't know his passcode. How we're going to figure that out? Hold on. Is it a four digit or three digit? If it's three digit, Gene two 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 one. <sighs> Wrong passcode. Damn it. <sighs> two. I mean, you could write an S as five. I'm, I'm pretty sure that contains the code. Unless there's something in here that I can't see. Admin permissions. It has to be that number. It has to be this thing. 2SF21. So it's, I'm going to do that 2521. Wrong no. passcode. Damn it. Okay. So we may... Okay, so they did build... A... That is a dome. That's... We're outside the dome. Okay. That's really cool. No, thank you. I've had enough sugar today. And... Right. So are we... I don't know what we're looking for now. Gene... Can I... It's not a good idea to enter offices other than mine. Man, I feel so bad for exposing Gene to Kendra's volatile temper. Okay, where do we get the code? A complete layout of the 21st floor. Not bad. I like the look of this office as well. It's kind of cool. Uh, what does he... I generally don't know how we're getting in here. A little help game, maybe? Oh. <laughs> Look at this. Right there. 
I was trying to be all smart with it. You're an absolute disaster when it comes to security measures, Gene. But thank God for that. Is there a one? To be fair, the better option would be to use your 2521. I forgot the code, hold on. 1208. Ta da! Ta da, we're in. Uh, excuse me. Ta-da! Door open. I don't know what happened there. There's nothing of interest in Jean's computer. The servers are in that room in the back. Yes, they are. And what are we doing with the servers? Oh. My IP... One nine zero. Okay, I don't know if we need to. She can't interact with that, so I don't know if we need to do anything with that. Good. Now I only have to access the servers and grant myself admin permissions. Got it. Now back to my office to keep helping Trevor. I don't know why we're helping Treasure. Treasure, Trevor. But we're doing it. Uh, do, do, do. We did not break into the server room at all. And oh, that's my office there. Shit, I almost forgot to restore the surveillance cameras before returning to Trevor. Yes, all cameras are back to. Hey! Mission complete. Uh, uh Hi. Kendra. You think this is normal? Uh, uh maybe. I, I, I'm not I, entirely I, sure. I can explain. Seriously, I have tons of work to worry about, and they expect me to meet my deadlines with constant screw-ups? This is not normal. Oh. Oh, you mean that? Uh, no, yeah, don't, no. Don't give yourself no, away. That is totally unacceptable. Absolutely. This is the second time I've had the same sudden crash. Remember it also happened a few days ago? Boom. And all my work goes down the drain in an instant. Yes. Yes, I remember. Yeah, sure. Uh, Absolutely. We, we had nothing to do with that, that at all. Of course. Anyway, looks like it's going to take a while. Fancy a latte macchiato at the cafeteria? I'm going to pass uh, on that. Sorry, Kendra. I still have some things to finish. And given what happened to you, I don't want to risk losing all my work, too, you know? Hi, Leo. I thought she had caught me. Yeah, it was close there for a second. Right, Trevor. Okay, Trevor, I'm back. Oh, thank God. But wait, that's, again, that transition's so damn cool. Oh, forgot to turn the voice modulator on. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, it's fine. I'd rather listen to a human voice than whatever that was before. That looks like a big ass door. <sighs> yeah, what difference does it make now? Anyway, let me open that big door. Cameras are ready. Great, I can switch between them. Oh, nice. Right stick to switch between devices. Press Y to interact with the device. Uh, open that door. Wow, that computer room is really dark. That's not a computer room, Trevor. Go inside, please. Uh, okay. Not a, okay. Find an earpiece on that table ahead of you. Put it on so we can speak directly. On air? I have the earpiece. Can you hear me? Loud and We're in the Truman Show. And you? We're in the damn Truman Show. All my days. <laughs> you know, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect a whole TV show thing. I, I knew it was escaping a TV show. What is this place? But I didn't think it was like a Truman style TV show. Like the backstage of a TV studio. Because it is, Trevor. This is Arcadia's backstage. What? No, 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 no. This, this is this is the Ada room, the most powerful computer ever built. Yeah, I don't think it is. Artifact disposal area. That's so. That's where all the is where the containers all the tubes. All INAC employees are dumped to be processed and destroyed. But that that doesn't make any sense. INAC would lose millions if they just. INAC can't lose shit because INAC is not a real company. It's just another one of Arcadia's intricate lies. But you've had enough lies already, Trevor. Let me show you the truth for once. All right. 
what truth are why why me that's what i'm wondering why am i important to break out or is it just because i was the next to be ghosted please trevor have a seat also why are the ghosting people now in its 55th season american arcadia a 43 square mile metropolis where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort Broadcast live 24 hours a day, seven days a week on every digital platform. The most watched media phenomenon on the planet. Arcadia. Where so it really is. It's the Truman Show on an actual citywide level. Lives of their so I'm assuming that I'm not the main focus. 14 Arcadia born citizens. Experience love drama, and scandal from all of your favorite Arcadia celebrities. Steve Just, DJ Zoom, Tiffany Amber Gaines, and many more. Vote, comment, and be a part of American Arcadia. Live from the Arcadia So it's Dome, like on a massive scale. Vivian Walton. What is this? Also, was it Walton's, when he's talking about building Arcadia, was he thinking about doing the TV thing the entire time? Or did he just develop into that? I'm really intrigued. Why on earth would anybody be interested in my life? That's exactly the problem, Trevor. Nobody is interested in your life. I'm pretty sure you know who Steve Just is. Yes. Yeah, everybody knows aerobic Steve. He's... The most popular person in Arcadia? Of course he is. Well, this is Steve Just's track camera view rate. That's the number of people outside Arcadia who watch his life 24-7. So you tune in. This is your track camera view rate. Actually, you only have one person following your track camera, and that's me. You're not an absolute jerk, an egomaniac, or obnoxious. You're just an average Normal. Joe with an <laughs> ordinary life. Too ordinary. Too ordinary? Too ordinary for what? To be profitable, Trevor. You're not good American Arcadia material. Oh, okay. Here, a popular person so do the... Sponsorships, media coverage, ads, merchandise. All right, so that's how it works. In short, money. And as the audience ratings of American Arcadia are in negative growth, the show can't afford to maintain people like you anymore. Unprofitable citizens need to be... Uh, be retired from the Ghosted. show. Ghosted? Retired? You... You mean... Yes, I mean exactly what you're thinking. But they All right, can't so they're just that, right? completely removed. They, me. they didn't. Can they? Not legally. But again, who's gonna miss you if you never ever show up again? Nobody's interested in your life, remember? Oh my God. Fair point. This. this I'm very nightmare. curious. Why didn't they just kick them out of the TV show? I know this is tough to swallow, but we have to keep going, okay? Mm -hmm. So why am I? Why do they okay. want me to escape? Okay. All right, let's carry on. Good. We can try to use your anonymity to our advantage to get you out of here. But first things first, you have to leave the INAC building and get to the closest monorail station. Okay, that's, those are big-ass fans. Hey, you, whoever you are, I, I don't see a way around here. There is a wardrobe case back there. Bring it here and climb on it to get to that platform. Uh... Where? Which case are we talking about? This one? Oh, yeah, okay. I don't know why I was expecting one of those little, like, red, oh, little red, black, little circles. Hey, it's a car. This is literally the just the back area. Also, those transitions are smooth. Hey, uh, hey, I I can't see anything in here. Could you do something about that, please? All right, let me find a light source. Let's try to find a way out of here. Oh, 
I mean, I could climb under it, couldn't I? Can I jump? <sighs> Trevor, are you wheezing? You're in terrible shape, man. Did you get any exercise at all? Oh, no. Hold on. Not, not since PE in high school. Because of my metabolism, I don't easily gain weight, so I don't usually do any. Okay, okay. Don't you do any cardio? Your lifestyle or your dietary habits. Just save your breath and keep going, will you? All right. So can I grab that? All right, that kind of worked. I'm glad I can move while I'm still looking through the camera. Whoa. Where am I taking it? Oh, I, yeah, okay, I'm taking it out. Can you trace that guy? Trevor, hide! No, but he must be around be quiet. We're on sneaky sneak. What do you mean, cavalry? There's also, there's drones hanging around. That's bad. Very true. Who doesn't love a good drone? So I don't know why they don't just let us, like, leave, and why they have to, like, ghost us. Take that on. And, okay, I think we need to take that up. Then I can drag that out. And I keep on forgetting right stick. I can take that down. Take that up right up to the top. Oh, wait. Hold on. I think I may have made a mistake. Yes, I did. Okay. I need to put that case on top of this and then take it up so I can use it to climb up. You just climb up there, and then you just hang out. Cool. I like the switching between the camera situation and, like, Trevor using to interact. Kind of reminds us a little bit like Double Switch. Where the guy, where you had, like, control of the cameras and everything out. It's a really old game. On the mega, is it the mega CD? My fellow citizens, we have a please, new Ed Travel Grant winner. Say this, hold my His name is Trevor Hills, a 28 year old account manager with no friends and a boring life that nobody gives two shits about. A little bit rude. I feel, I feel called out right there. Sorry, I just can't help myself. I know the rules. All grant winners must be publicly announced, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, I don't see the point in it. Who cares about this guy? Anyway, I care. Let's I care about this guy. In one go, okay? That really, that's a big ass control room as well. Vivian Walton is a horrible person? Absolutely. I think evil bitch describes her better, but it's that evil bitch who hosts American Arcadia Live feeds every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 8 p.m. Three-hour specials where the Walton Empire's true heiress drags her family legacy through the mud. <laughs> and the audience loves her. So, yeah, okay, so I get the feeling she's the one who Sorry, turned it into a TV show. And it wasn't, like, intended that way. That kind of makes sense. Have you seen a guy around here dressed in 70s clothing? No. Yes, about 20,000 every day. 
I work in American Arcadia, man. Can't you be a little more specific? Yeah, Caucasian male, fair haired. Oh, okay. I don't know if I want to. I can narrow it down to 5,000 5, individuals, maybe. We cannot turn it. Hey, what happened? What do I know? Let me fix it. Go, Trevor, go, 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 go. Oh, really? Have I got to, have I got to pull something across the... Have I got to move something across? Dang it. Could you please give me a hand with this light? Not my job, thank you very much. Run back. Fix it. It's on again. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I've got to take this across without being spotted. Alright. This light thing is getting on my nerves. Go. Trevor, go. There we go, it's on. Please don't notice that. I'm so surprised that this, he didn't notice this thing suddenly appearing. <laughs> Red light, green light. It's working again. Again? Damn. Yes. It's gonna be the last time, I, I swear. I'm also surprised that that guy, the guy that you're talking to, didn't like have a bit of a look around. We're out. Jeez, I, I saw that mannequin. I thought it was a person. Mannequins. Mannequins. They put mannequins in here too, just to fill up seats. Yep. Now you're getting it. So it looks like it's busy from the outside. I don't want any of these mannequins to come alive. I'm just gonna run for it. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to hang around here. I don't like. I don't like mannequins. Trevor, hide quick. Any news? Not yet, but we've got all the exits covered. Good. He's not gonna get out of this building. Travel agents. There's a pair of wings. Uh, can we do that? Is that? Can we actually do that? Also, there's no cameras in here. Let's just go. Just keep doing the sneak. Sneaky, sneaky, sneak. Shit. Plan B, Trevor. Forget about the elevator. You have to find another way out. Uh, how? Hey, I'm an account manager. H how are we going to do that exactly? Mistakes and balance sheets. <sighs> Let me think. Um, there's a, uh, there's a window in front of you, right? Yes. You're not thinking of... We I don't have any wings. Close this monorail station as soon as possible. There's no other option. There's another station literally in front of the Inoc building. Didn't you hear them, Trevor? What part of all exits are covered didn't you get? Oh, this is a seriously bad idea. It's not an exit. It's a, not a normal exit. Also, are, are they not going to notice the window opening? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, God. This is really high. Would you please calm down, Trevor? Yeah, I don't like... Maybe close the window? Today. In which case you'd already be dead by now. Just don't panic and let me think of something. Right. Okay, so I can get on that. I'm going to keep on this just in case I can spot someone that he can't spot. Trevor? Trevor, you're doing alright. Okay, just keep going. I'm totally fine. Totally fine. Right. Camera, we need to drop this down. Is it still? Where is it still coming down? Yes, it is. That's it. See, it wasn't that bad. Not at all. Uh, I guess we're going up, not down. I just realized that I don't even know your name or why you're doing this. I'd rather not give you more details right now, for safety reasons. But you can call me Kovacs. Kovacs? Like my turtle? Like, like my turtle? What? No, man. Kovacs, the Hungarian scientists and architects of tomorrow. Science always finds a way and all that, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah our oh. bad Kovacs. I was a huge fan, too. I named my turtle after him. Dude, why do you keep bringing your turtle into this conversation? Because well, I just thought... It's the name? It. <laughs> Kovacs is the name? Are we going... Okay, we're going this way. No. 
Okay, no camera. Trevor, mm. watch out. Don't let the bargain basement Beastie Boys see you. The what? Uh, I forgot you don't know the Beastie Boys. The uh, uh, travel agents. Don't let the travel agents see you. Wait, is this... Are we actually in modern day outside? And it's 70... Okay, that's... That's a new information. Um... Hexagon, please revert shutter at my location. Thank you. Right. We need to wait until he disappears there, and then I can go across. Shutter blocked on INAC, Gemini. Close this one. R3. And straight across. We're out, we're out here. We're out here. Also, we seem to be going up and not down, which is a little bit of a problem. We're supposed to be getting to a metro station. Hey, Trevor, I must say you are coping quite well with all this physical stress, despite your age. I'm 28. <laughs> <laughs> you're... Oh, oh, you're... Uh, sorry about that, I... Uh, uh, <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's the mustache. Definitely. The mustache definitely thing is that one. Oh, okay. Um... You see the guy? Nah. There's that'll no be a no. Out the window. What do they expect? The stapler guy from office space climbing out of a window? Come on. Okay, so we need to move this in the right direction however that's gonna be a problem because I can't go can I go down no I can't but I've got a guy up right up above us and a guy to the right so I can't move this anywhere oh wait close the intercom we're going right I'm going up. We need to go up again. Up again. Up again. Oh. Up. And he's out. Okay. That was a bit stressful. Made it to the roof though. And I need to cough again. Excuse me. Sorry. Jump. <gasps> Now what? Now what? What? Just jump over. Yeah, the just, just from over the cap. Are Are you sure? If I miss, I die. Oh come on, Trevor! Even my grandpa could jump that. Run, Mr. run. Hills, what are you doing? Hi. Go uh, get yourself, Mr. Hills. Oh shit! The travel agents are here. Uh, jump now. Go. Uh, oh. Run, run, Trevor. Please, stop running. I don't like being chased. I don't like being chased. Climb, climb. Stop immediately. Jump! Oh! Run! Keep running for God's sake! I'm running! I'm running! Oh! No, 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 no! I didn't realize that was it. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Get over that crane, Trevor, quick! The crane! Yes, trust me! Run! Run! He's going over the crane! Damn it! I'll try to cut him off! Run. The crane! Yes, the crane. Yes, trust me! He's going over the crane! Damn it! I'll try to cut him off. We need to hurry up. Oh, no, I need to no, I need to hurry up. No, no, I need to hurry up. No, no. Wait, he's gonna get Subject is corn. Send drone to area 84 F. Okay, I'm in trouble now. Okay. This is tr I need to get this in the right order here. With the crane! Yes, trust me! He's going over the crane! Uh, oh, no, 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 no! I'll try to cut him off. Okay. I don't need to retract it. All right. That makes so much more sense. Go. Run. Run. You got a death wish or what? Absolutely. I'm running out! Jump, jump as far as you can. Jump. Uh. Wait, you jumped into a swimming pool from the 20th floor of a building? Yes. <sighs> yes? Yes. <laughs> and while I think it's pretty obvious, I'm not exactly a daredevil. All right, that oh, puzzle was tricky. I realized I didn't have to, to do retract, and I think because it was wasting a whole lot of time. 
No, I'm still soaking wet. Sorry about that, but we don't have much time. Get moving before the travel agents get down here. Absolutely. Uh, right. See you later, guys. Thank you for that. Straight up. Straight across. The billboard. Don't don't fall through the window. Well, is that a helicopter after me? That's going to be expensive. I mean, you're going to get a whole load of ratings because you're going to be increasing popularity because you're going to be running for your life. A lot of people down there. Like, none of these are actors, basically. The travel agents are obviously hired by the studio, I would imagine. Keep going, Trevor. You're doing great. Now listen. But I think all the people are just genuine people. Cross the monorail tracks, right? You were going to say that. I'm afraid so. Oh, damn it. Go. Actually, that was less stressful than I thought it was going to be. I was expecting to have to wait for a train to come past. But we've made it. First time. I should also probably change clothes because they're expecting Trevor, to see. Out. Damn it! Hills got out of the Einact East Tower? How is that possible? They're on the... Jump to the pool, it's man. Signal, to I the damn you to pool. Ass like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, who could expect that? What's going on? Go. Somebody go, 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 go. that car alarm. Those guys are gonna spot us. Run! There he is! Run! Catch him! Oh, go! Hear you. No, thank you. I will not partake in your interrogation. He's very fast. Car of the monorail. Oh my days. Please. No, please. Please. In. Yeah! In your face! <laughs> what are you gonna do now, huh? Yeah! Stop the train and bring it back. Bestie kid, or whatever you call them. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> what did I say it wrong? Sorry, yes. <laughs> got a bit overexcited. <sighs> bit of excitement, excitement so, for the day. Where are we headed to, Kovacs? Right into the Cygnus lobby. Brand okay. Hotel Cygnus? What for? There's a badge I need you to retrieve there. All right. I can do that. Your holidays in Arcadia are about to begin. Soon you'll be transported to the stunning city of tomorrow. Access badge overview. But before you have dinner at the top of the Spire restaurant, enjoy the best disco music in the Limelight Club. Or Limelight. The oh, they asked us to go there, didn't they? There's something else you need to know. Introducing Access Badge, an amazing electronic device that will allow you to make the most of your Arcadia vacations. Carefully designed to look like a real 1970s prop, your access badge will be scanned at the checkpoint terminal on your entry day, and that's it! Okay. You don't even need to check in at the front desk. Just use your access badge to get into your hotel room and start having fun! Even our auto droid... So that's what we're after. We're after one of these badges to get us around the place a bit easier. Badge. And remember... If you're using the Insta Delivery Service, your bags will be waiting in your room just a few seconds after you open the door. I'm assuming this hotel's for tourists. At all times during your Arcadia for like visit people coming out. Day you leave at your assigned departure checkpoint. Now you are ready to experience the city of tomorrow as Elijah Walton himself envisioned it. Remember. Enjoy your stay in Arcadia and So if you've got one of those badges you're from the outside break the fourth wall. You come in with one of the badges, it's your access badge. Which lets you access the hotel and stuff services and stuff. Hotel Cygnus Station. Please watch That's ingenious. Exiting the car. Also wow. Cygnus. Look at this place. This is majestic. Giant swans. Definitely. It's not called the Grand Hotel for nothing. But we didn't choose it for the luxury. The Cygnus is the only hotel in Arcadia with a monorail station built inside. Okay, that kind of works. I don't know where, why we're going, so where we're going after this. Oh, yes. To get you out like any other Arcadia tourist, you'll need one of those badges I told you about. Okay, so we're going out for a tourist. say that all tourist areas are restricted unless you wear the badge? How am I going to get into your suite then? We'll have to slip you through the service zones and then get you to the room floors. Okay, I'll allow that. That works. Makes sense. 
So we're basically breaking into the hotel in order to get a pass for us to get out of the hotel onto the monorail in that's built in the... Hello. Swan. I didn't expect to see an actual swan. I don't know why. It makes... It's on point. Beyond this point, wear your access badge. Guess it's not even worth trying, is it? No. Ah, forget it. That door won't open. Just so, keep going until you find a storage door. I'll plan. For you. There we go. The plan is to get the badge, head to the metro station, and leave as a tourist under like the tourist thing. I don't think it's going to be that simple. Right, we're in hey, there. There's a giant storage cabinet blocking my way. Oh, I'll take care of it. Wait, am I in the way? Can't do anything in this side, can I? No. Okay, so it's gotta be cam zero. Okay. So I can't go up. Okay, so I've just gotta make sure. What exactly? Bringing these all the way out. Hmm. So if I move this here, um, uh, I don't quite know what I'm doing right now. So I can bring that in. Can I take this back out? There we go. Nope. Oh, I thought I had it. Yeah, I thought you had it as well. Wait, I have to do that again. If I drop that there, that's not going to work. Hold on. Can I bring? that out nope wrong one in there that way oh I think I got it there we are that took way longer than that that took way longer. Kovacs, I was wondering, wouldn't it have been easier if you just entered Arcadia like a regular tourist and simply handed me the badge? No can do. I have to be here to operate the devices to help you. Okay, yeah, that's a uh, She's a tiny distance away as well from the looks of it. She's outside the dome for sure. Welcome to the Grand Hotel set. can't even begin to imagine the logistics of doing something like this this whole like thing so I'm going whoop I'm going that way I've got to be going up here Oh, okay, climb up. I was going to say, how can I break that thing? Jump across? Surprised it didn't smash my ankles. Push. I assume I'm going to bring this back across. And then climb up. There we go. Are we out? I'll take it. Let's go up. 
Um, Kovacs? Yes? Yeah? You're always saying, we are doing this, we are planning that. I'm gonna assume you're working with someone else, right? Yes. I'm a member of an activist group, so to speak. It's called Breakout. Its founders... Well, let's just say you're not the first person who tried to escape from Arcadia. All right. Did they actually succeed, the though? was known as the Arcadia Ooh, cool. 6 Breakout. Arcadia Although 6? The event has always been categorically denied six by Arcadia. In cool. January 1992, six Arcadia-born citizens successfully evaded the confinement measures and managed to escape from the city. Shortly after, Walton Media was the target of several boycott actions that resulted in severe financial losses for the company and reignited the debate about the ethical treatment of Arcadia-born citizens. A group named Can Break imagine that would actually be genuinely the case? responsibility for the actions. Its leader, known only by his alias, Number Six, claimed to be one of the escapees in the 1992 incident. We will never cease in our struggle against Walton Media until the company listens and all Arcadian prisoners are released. And if our words are not enough to make them listen, maybe our actions will be. So it's basically, that today, they believe that everyone in Arcadia, Arcadia you could Arcadia argue the point that everyone in Arcadia still, is actually a prisoner. An unwilling, or unknowing and unwilling prisoner. But that also brings a question like if you if your life was great inside of Arcadia would you want to give that up to go to the real world? That brings a whole load of philosophical questions and moral and ethical questions. Is it morally right to do this to people? Like when they're, if they're not known. Uh, no camera. No cameras in here. Jesus, this is really high. Again. Yeah, don't look. Why do your escape plans always involve making me climb way up high? The most discreet route isn't always the safest one. Sorry about that. That's fine. Thank you, everybody. You're being a terrific audience. Are we going into a club? I hope you're enjoying our music this evening here at the Sinless Pro Restaurant. Hope we're going in a restaurant. And now, for enjoyment, here's an instrumental version of Merle Jefferson's Don't Be Alone. Oh, I again, do it. not know That's if I like I this again. at all. Oh, I liked it better before it became the theme song for Trevor Hill's worst day ever. Oh. We're gonna jump on that, and we're going onto there. We're gonna have to drop that. <sighs> Climb. Raise heads. I'm assuming obviously we're going across the other side. So if I go onto the head, drop the wings, straight across, straight across. Heads. Am I dropping down? Can I actually drop down that far? I don't think I'm going to make that jump. I'm going to try the jump. Nope. Never mind. We're going to get there eventually. Right. Definitely need that one on. Straight on here. Wings. Heads. Wings. Wings. Am I sliding down? Am I sliding down here onto this wee on that one? That'll be a yes. Okay, so we're going this way. And we're going heads again. Okay, climb up here. Uh, 
and head climb up there there we go we're out that took a few goals that one I was just thinking of this day when I was in fifth grade okay right before the bell rang Scott Horvitz the official class bully picked on me I didn't even fight back but the teacher sent both of us to detention on Saturday and because of that I missed the trip to Comet Land that I'd been waiting for all year. Well, That's a bit rough. That was it a scripted event? Is now a touching memory <laughs> to cherish compared with today. Fair point. I'm sorry, Trevor. Honestly, but it's the only way. I mean, I would take doing this over being bullied. One of these days, this thing's going to open. I'm going to open one of these doors, and he's going to be. Completely, there's gonna be a guy there. Get inside and make sure you can't be seen. An auto droid will bring it to the room floor shortly. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Hey, climb in. This is clean laundry. That's something. Oh, how long am I supposed to wait in here, Kovacs? I don't know. My suite is in the ninth floor, so. The ninth floor? Shh, pipe down. The auto droid's coming. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it can hear us or not. You'll find a suitcase that. Well, you don't need any further description. Let's just say that my suitcase really stands out. Okay. I can't wait to see it. If it's not a Hello Kitty one, I don't want to know. Weird enough, talking about Hello Kitty while waiting. Do you know the creator? Next, please. Oh, do you know the creator Hello. of... Welcome to your holidays Sorry, I'll, in Arcadia. I'll, I'll, Please leave your luggage I, I, on the conveyor I need belt. Pay attention to this. I'll tell you in a second. May I scan your Arcadia e-ticket, please? Sure. Here you go. Just give me a second while I find your booking. Oh, here it is. Four nights in a deluxe suite at the Grand Hotel Cygnus for Sylvia Lauren. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, that is correct. Sylvia Lauren. Your is that actually a real name, or is it? It uh, has to be an alias. Service for your vacation at no additional cost. So your bags will be in your room in just a few seconds. Oh wow, that's that's convenient. very that is very convenient. Remember that you give your permission to open, search, check, and scan your luggage in case you've forgotten any modern technological devices inside it. <laughs> of course, but don't worry, there's nothing inside. I've been really careful. Great. Just a few more things before your entry day. You must take the Elijah Walton's Dream of Tomorrow ride down this hallway to the left. You don't have to wait in line. Speedway access is included with your deluxe booking. Nice. And I wonder how much the deluxe remember, booking is. On your entry day, don't wear any modern clothing, piercings, dyed hair, or any other fashionable items that might be considered anachronistic for the people of Arcadia. We love your look, but we can't let you break the fourth wall. We'll do. That don't we need to be so much. Cover up. Thank you, and enjoy your holidays in Arcadia. Ugh, two more seconds of corporate curtsy and I would have puked rainbows. Hmm. Next part of the plan. Gotta get this stupid thing inside my suitcase so Trevor can wear it. Uh, wait, are we going... We'll right to get a sprint, okay. So it really is a giant dome, dome city. Uh, can I just sprint? There we go. Just get rid of that thing. I don't actually know where I'm going. Or dream of tomorrow. I've never ridden this thing, but according to my research, the access to the luggage scanning area is inside there. Nice. So we're going to go on to the ride, and then we're just going to disappear somewhere else. Hi. Sir? Oh. Scan it. Oh. Hello. Straighten the speed see what bit. This ride is all about. No waiting for me, suckers. Haha, -ha, see you later. Welcome to Elijah Walton's Dream of Tomorrow. Embark on a journey to discover how the greatest creative genius of the 20th century envisioned and built Arcadia. 
For your safety, please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and keeping everything in. Uh, and supervise your children. I don't know why that's suddenly not loading very well. Born in 1900, in a small rural community of Minnesota, influenced okay, by like, I don't like rides. Fern, young Elijah dreamed of being a novelist or a scientist, but he ended up working in the film industry instead. After working as a scriptwriter in Hollywood in the 30s, Walton, we're Elijah talking about Walt Disney. Donald this is like a Walt Disney kind of thing. Company, Walton Pictures. Together, they produced many successful box office hits. Gene Carroll, Humphrey Bogart. Timeless classics. I know those people. But Elijah Walton wanted to reach a broader audience beyond the movie theater. It's really weird. I don't know why it's television arrived not loading stuff in properly. America. It's a little bit unfortunate. Science always finds a way. And what a way that was. Broadcast in Visiorama, the innovative 3D audio and video system, Architects of Tomorrow became a must-see show every Saturday night. 3D Visiorama. Visiorama. So it's basically Arcadia is set in the seven futuristic 70s, but it's not actually the 70s, it's modern day outside. Does look kind of cool though. Decade of unprecedented success, Walton Pictures, now known as Walton Media, decided to undertake its most ambitious project: the acquisition of a huge piece of land in the Midwest to build the city of tomorrow, a city named Arcadia. Yeah, th what I want to know is, genuinely, right man and did he just want to build a futuristic city, or did he actually want to do TV thing with it? Or did that come later? Began construction. This small prototype community is known today as Classic Arcadia or Old Arcadia. We going to Old Arcadia? I could be a way out. A heart failure deprived Elijah Walton of seeing his magnum opus finished. On June 3rd, 1963, the world of... It's really weird. Some things are load, some things didn't load properly. I don't know. It's weird. I'm gonna have to change some sentence. Oh, what about when Kovacs was kicked to the curb? Hmm? Don't you have an animatronic for that? Overcoming his grief for the loss of his brother, Donald Walton took the reins of the company. Under his guidance, Project Arcadia was finished on schedule. American Arcadia's premiere is still the second most watched event in American television history, just after the Apollo 11 moon landing. Okay, so it was. And the first Arcadia residents didn't even know their private lives were being sold and broadcasted. So it was that like that from the start. Okay. So many new residents to the city that old Arcadia soon became too small. It was evident that a larger, broader, and more modern city was needed. And thanks to the cooperation between Walton Media and Senator Milton Burbank, the Burbank Act was approved, so Arcadia grew and expanded to the size that Elijah Walton had always envisioned. So they made a smaller one and then obviously expanded. I'll tiny detail that the small print of the Burbank Act allowed Walton Media to lock people up as if they were inside a damn zoo. This is the Arcadia we all know and love. Yeah, we don't love, I don't think we love this. I think this is very creepy. Inside a weather controlled dome where each and every citizen enjoys it's a very big brother. luxury and comfort. Broadcast live 24 7 for more than 55 seasons. The most watched media phenomenon on the planet. Hmm, but it's a negative growth now, Vivian dear. <laughs> Now that you know the story, you're ready to begin your journey. Soon you'll be accessing your entry checkpoint to Arcadia. As we speak, your luggage is being carried straight to your hotel room. There it is. My suitcase. I'll have to get into that room. Uh, can I leave the... Can I get out now? My grandfather, Elijah Walton... I would like to get out now. To build the city... Or am I actually locked in here? A dream that my great-uncle Don continued. Now it's up to me, Vivian Walton, to keep that dream alive. But this dream wouldn't be a reality if it weren't for you. Because you yeah, I can't get out. Okay. Like 
Dreamer's Dream. You are Arcadia. You truly are my <laughs> grandfather's dream. Shut your pie hole, you stupid bitch. Sassy, I like it. Right, so... How am I going to get back into there? Through here. Uh, can we just disappear? Oh, we're in. Never mind. It's where we actually need to be. Huh. No, it's not working. But we have cords. Five one eight. Are we looking for actual cord cords? Door cords. This must be the cast member's room. Uh, can I take keys? <laughs> this must be the key for the manual override. Thank you. Bear with me one second, because this is completely bizarre. Okay, so I have messed around with some settings and for some reason I just can't get stuff to load like some of the assets there. See that door up the top, just up there. For some reason that's not loading in properly and I don't really know why. I did obviously reset the checkpoint, so this is why I was standing here and not where I actually said, give me a minute. I don't know what the I don't know what the problem is. I generally have no idea. My computer is like more powerful than the game needs, so I don't see why it needs to do that. I, I, I don't know why it's acting like that. However, we're just going to have to push forward and hope that we can muddle through. And it may fix itself. It may not fix itself. I have no clue. So we were having a look at in here weren't we and that's where we need to be but that's the door okay 518 I think that's the door we need to be in there so I'm assuming we'll have to... Uh -uh. No, it's not working. Okay, we need the key, didn't we? We, had a, we picked up a key, didn't this we? This must be the cast member's room. Yeah, I don't know why this thing's the <laughs> graphics aren't this loading properly. I've, I've reset the game, I've reset the computer. I've no idea. Hopefully this information is unnecessary a red light indicates an animatronic malfunction use your key to activate the manual override these are instructions select the ride section where the problem is enter the animatronic number from the selected section a red light in every section will immediately stop the ride okay if the ride stops the ride doors will open Okay, so do we have to follow these instructions? Do we have to... We've got a key. Manual... Hello, what are you? Repair receipt. Animatronic repair malfunction. Animatronic is reactivated. Undeclared. Animatronic serial code 9518. Broken animatronic from the first section of the ride. It's okay. Six seven one one. So do we have to type in these codes and get all of them to do the manual override and get them? Oh, I don't want to go that way, do I?
Right. Uh, let's do that one first. It was nine, one, five, eight. Oh, okay. I'm on the wrong one. Okay. Uh, I need to flip that. So, 9158. No, 951. My number dyslexia. 9518. I don't know what it is when I have a four digit number. Turn that one off. So we need to go here. Two seven one eight. One not one eight one two. And then that one and he is and I can't remember the code. Uh, not that way. It crossed the way, wasn't it? 6711. 6711. 67 <laughs> I managed to sabotage the ride. Good. That's what one. It wasn't worth the wait anyway. Right. So we can now go. Where exactly? It wouldn't let me out. Oh, never mind. Maybe we got this door instead. How's that for a plan? Right, are we going. Oh, they've all been evacuated. So I can go in on... Oh, okay, so I can go in on foot now. Can I? Never mind, that... I totally know where I'm going. Stop typing. Ugh, silent animatronics give me the creeps. Straight in here. This is where we need to be. Uh, we have a vent. Oh, now I have to crawl inside that duct. I mean, it happens and all that. Press B to talk up to in crouching and standing mode. I also think I'm going to have to force, probably force a cut in this. There doesn't seem to be a good spot to, like, actually leave it right now. Although I am compelled to continue on, because I'm actually really enjoying playing this. Oop, look at room. Hmm, my luggage info might be on my Arcadia e-ticket. Better check my phone. Yes. Uh... Double A three. This table shows the locker assigned to each car and seat. That's going to be a problem. With this thing not loading up, this is going to be a problem. Please say you're loaded. Okay. Can we brute force this one? <laughs> Damn it, where did they put my suitcase? Nope. Wrong locker. There it is. There it is. Okay. I'll Try and error. Inside. I did manage to narrow it down. I hope I could get Trevor to the Cygnus in time. And then, out of Arcadia. I'll talk to you in three days.
Yeah, so I managed to narrow it down. I realised the blue areas that like, those each had those like four banks of like lockers, and I saw that they were numbered double A Trevor? one two three and four. Trevor, can you hear me? So we reached oh. locker four. Out of there now. Jeez, that took a long time. I almost fell asleep inside that cart. You need to get into the luxury suite at the end of this hallway so you can grab the badge. And make sure no one sees you without it. Okay. That could be an issue. But yeah, I went through every single locker in that section until I found the thing and I finally found it. I'm really hoping that this problem fixes itself and that I ha don't have to resort to doing crazy stuff like that. I'll be able to find a workaround, I'm sure of it. There's no doubt something on the canopy. Sorry. Something on the canopy? I don't know why I said canopy there. There's going to be something online which will help me out. I'm just going straight there and we're just not going to worry about people right now. Hey, there's an auto droid in here yeah it's preparing the room just ignore it i need to turn the insta delivery device on okay uh i'm just ignoring it room is not ready yet turning off device what the please stop turning on device turning off room is not ready yet turning off device oh stop turning everything off what do you mean, stop turning everything off? God, I hate this stupid robot. Please stop turning on. Turning off. Knock it off, Wally. Please, this is not your room. Leave immediately. Room is not ready yet. Turning off. Please stop oh, turning stop on turning devices. Stop turning everything off. Turning off. This machine is supposed to bring your suitcase here, right? Yes. Yeah, if it wasn't for this damn droid. Turning off. Room is not ready yet. Please. Knock it off, Wally. Turning off. We need to... God, I hate this stupid robot. Room is not ready yet. Turning off device. Go. Cool. Yes. Turning off. Please stop turning off Knock it off, off Wally. Do we just have to keep him... All right. I think we need to turn everything on and keep everything God, switching everything right. on until this thing turns to turns up. Turning off. Room is not ready yet. Turn it. Please stop turning on the God, I Room is not robot. turning. Please stop turning on devices. Turning off. Room is not ready yet. Turning off device. No. Oh, stop turning everything off. I cannot. Off, Wally. Cannot smash this robot. Oh, wait. Unidentified individual. Please wear your badge or leave the room immediately. I think. Do you know what? I think I've been barking up the wrong tree. That is so damn annoying. Turning off. I just need to get him in here and then block the door. was a great idea, Trevor. <laughs> That's what I call teamwork. Yeah. Although I kind of feel guilty about that Lord, poor droid. Missing navigation path. Please Shouldn't the luggage be here already? No, no, no. You didn't use the badge to access your room, so technically you're not inside the room yet. And Please that's why I need to manually redirect my suitcase through the instant delivery card. It's it's okay, Kovacs. I don't need Yeah, I don't need to know the whole thing. Just it's how just, do I get it? This plan is getting a little confusing. Leave it to me, okay? Uh, give hmm. me a second. A poor droid. Well, well, well. Where are you? Hmm. This changes the direction of the conveyor belt. This is to open and close that hatch. Okay. Where is mine ah, luggage? There it is. I have to reroute the conveyor belt to get it. Where to is the it? Seat. Let's see. Oh, there it is. 
So I need to... I'm going to assume take it that way. So we're heading right. Into B. Take that round. Open that. On the next one. Where they're coming out. And this switch rotates this thing. Right, so we going that way. That way. Nope, I don't want to go to D. That was messed up there. Oh, it's come back. Okay. So how do I change this? Can I... Because that doesn't quite work. So that's going to come back out here. Because that's going to go there left. But how do I convert that? Also, where does this go? So if I flip it to... there and then then what what is that one going to come out they're going to come out on the right hand side i would like it to come out on the right hand side yes it does nice okay and i'll just complete all right, take that out of B. All right, that's it. Now it's going to come here. And it's going to come past. Open the barrier. Then move it that way. Double back on myself. I think I figured it out. Yes. That took me way too long. And here is your luggage, mister. Thank you. Okay, I got the badge. Finally! That aggravating hunk of metal was a real pain in the ass. It really was. The badge or the droid? Bit of both. Right. I'm gonna have to. Have to. Right. I'm gonna leave this here. I have to leave this here for this week. This, this seems like a good spot. I'm going to have to force it. Otherwise, I'm going to end up playing through this whole thing in one setting. And I can't remember. I don't even know how long it is. I'm going to end up way over time and all that shite. Right. So I'm going to leave that here for this week. I'm actually really enjoying I am really enjoying it. Some of the graphical issues I've had is or a touch annoying. Uh, hopefully I can fix them. Or find a workaround or do I may stumble across it I may stumble through it and work it out the hard way but I really kind of I really kind of hope that I don't have to do that so I'm gonna be having a bit of a mess around with this over the course of the next week trying to solve the issues and hopefully can solve them thoroughly enjoying it though I am very impressed with just the gameplay elements I like the puzzles. I like the switch, the transitions between first person and third person, like two and a half D platform. It's very cool. The transitions are very cool. The art style is very cool when it works. Uh, puzzles are intriguing, like interesting enough. They're not too difficult, but they're not like, again, they're not super easy, but they're not too difficult at the same time. It's a good, good level, good puzzle level. So, like I said, we're going to leave that here for this week. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, let me know in the comment section below. 
If you are new here, feel free to come hang out, come check out some other stuff that we'll have going on. We would love to have you here. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you again for all the support. It is much appreciated. Please remember, I do collect them, so any choose to give me will help me out a great deal. Also, be sure to be a light for someone in the dark. It's a dark world, and you never know, a single act of kindness or a single word of kindness can change someone's day or someone's life for the better. You never know. I love you from the bottom of my heart, and you all know what's coming. Please like, share, come subscribe on that chance. And as always, see you on the flip side. Bye-bye. Oh,